How are you guys doing today? It's me, Anthony Torado with AJTFX Learning. In today's video, we're actually going to go still deep into our Japanese candlesticks and review our hammer candlestick. So pretty much what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to review our hammer candlestick. We'll go over a little bit of the description of what it's all about, where we could identify it in the market. And then what we'll do is we'll dive into the market, identifying our hammer candlesticks and seeing how the market plays out. So pretty much if you haven't done so already, make sure to stay connected with us through social media, whether if that's Instagram, Snapchat, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all of which can be done at AJTFX Learning. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to visit our website at AJTFXLearning.com for some great trader tips. So as we still dive into understanding Japanese candlesticks, we're actually going to review our hammer candlestick. One of the things you're going to notice when we identify our hammer candlestick is that we're actually looking to buy the market. So a hammer candlestick is going to actually be best found at the bottom of a downtrending market. So you're going to see your market is downtrending, is found at the bottom, hammer is created, and what that's going to signify is an oversold market. And this reversal pattern is then going to what? give us a potential for a bullish market to the upside. Hence, why we're looking to buy the market. So pretty much you're going to see that it's actually just a one candlestick pattern. And it's actually this pattern, this candlestick, the hammer candle, can be bullish or bearish. And I'll actually show you guys as we dive into the market what I mean. But just make sure to actually take down some notes into the description of what the hammer is all about. So you're going to see that the wick of the hammer is at least two times the length of the body of the Japanese candlestick which is the hammer as well. And you're going to see that it's best found where there's room to the left. And I'll see and I'll tell you guys what I mean by room to the left, but ideally that's obviously coming from that downtrending market at the bottom of it. And you're going to see a hammer actually looks something like this. Where the wick is two times the body. You see that the body is very small. You have the long wick and then it's usually coming down from that downtrending market. So what we're going to do now is we'll, we'll, we'll jump into the market, identify some hammer candlesticks, and see how it plays out as we're looking to buy the market. Awesome, awesome, guys. So as you guys already know, we're currently using our basic template within our FX tool suite because we like to use that to identify our candlesticks. So in today's video, what we're doing is we're actually identifying our hammer candlesticks. So if you guys remember, when we're looking at a hammer candlestick, whether if it's, you know, from anywhere from the hour chart all the way down to the minute 15 chart, it's usually coming from a downtrending market. It's found at the bottom of that downtrending market. And then we're going to see the hammer candlestick signifying what we're looking to then buy. So ideally, if we actually zoom in right now, currently we're on the minute 30 on AUDJPY. But if we go to the beginning, I found a great example where you see the markets coming down, creating those lower lows. And look at this. It's that downtrending market. And all the way at the bottom, you see this hammer where we have the body is real small. Then we have the wick, which is about two times the body, signifying what? A push to the upside. So obviously you see like a smaller example right here, but you see it has a wick at the top. Remember guys, when we're looking at the charts, they're not going to be perfect. You know, even something as small as this right here where we see this right here where we have a small candle. But this is more of like a doji, but still, it then what? Boom, pushes to the upside. So obviously utilizing and understanding our candlestick is one way to confirm our confluence trading. But obviously once we confirm that hammer, we're also looking for other sig other signals. Uh, whether if that's you know a breakout within our confluence trading, you know maybe it reached right here a level of support, giving it that boom bounce back to the upside. So definitely, guys, make sure you were utilizing those techniques we're reviewing in the AJTFX learning, so we could then utilize that, identify that, and then boom profit off of that. So in this example, we have that hammer coming from that downtrend, giving us that wick two times, and maybe that was a level of what support. We place our stop loss under there, and boom, then you see the market then push to the upside. So this right here was just a quick video showing you guys, you know, that hammer candlestick. And definitely, you know, it's one of a great example that I like to use. If you guys took some value from this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the other side as we go into more Japanese candlesticks.